What's up, Cake Pookie Nation? This is your boy, Cake Pookie, coming to the house. So, I'm going to be talking about the Steelers versus the Bears on Monday Night Football. So, if you're a Bears fan, subscribe to the channel, and I'll bring you the greatest Bears contact ever. Well, let's talk about what happened on Monday Night. Um, Everybody knew this was going to be a tough game. Um, You know, we they, the Pittsburgh Steelers had, were coming off from a three-game winning streak. And, you know, we needed a victory, you know, but, um, so, but all I can say, this game was prop by the officials, man, and the penalties cost the Bears, you know, they had 12 penalties and per 115 yards, 10 yards, and I'm going to discuss about the poor fish lane, it was just, this was the port, the worst fishing I've seen for a long time, man. But yeah, Justin Fields, he was 17 for 29. He had 20, 291 yards, 45 rushing, and um, he was one touchdown and one interception, and he was sacked three times. And he threw his ball eight times. And um, yeah, let me tell you. He did. He threw another touchdown, and the the officials they took away the uh, t you know the, the the touchdown, which was totally ridiculous. I forgot it was chop blocking or something like that. I don't know. He didn't even the guy didn't even touch him. The um, the, the, he didn't even touch him. So I don't know what the heck they called him. At least so, man, Justin Fields, man. So this was. David Montgomery's first game back since the injury. He had 13 carries, 63 yards in rushing, and two receptions, and for 100 for 17 yards. And Herbert, he had four carries and 13 yards and um 3.3, and he had no touchdowns. And A. Rob had four receptions and 68. And he had no touchdowns. And Mooney had three receptions, 41, and one touchdown. Um, now, yeah, Justin Fields, man, he was throwing all the balls. You know, like, he was not just targeting one. Uh, he was throwing all over the field, man. But, man, they, you know, these referees, man, they were so horrible, man. They caused, and one, I'm going to talk about this one play. I was Cassius Marsh, he um got a sack, I guess, on the on Pittsburgh, and he like stared down the the Pittsburgh um Steelers bench, you know, after his play, and um and then like he was like heading back to the um to the um to the um bench, you know, and you could see that the referee he stuck his butt out so that. Cassian Marsh hit him, and he you saw the referee throw the flag, and you saw like, he had his hand on the flag like he was gonna about to throw it. So I don't, you know, that cost us a penalty, and this referee is like he's known for um he he I mean he um referee Super Bowl and that stuff, but I mean yeah these referees. Man, they're gonna get graded by the end of the year. But I'm mean, gonna it's like why they never get disciplined. I want would like to see them like get disciplined. And you know, Roger Goodell, he's ruined this game and these um these flags is go is ridiculous, you know. Um just like in that New Orleans game versus the Rams a couple years ago, and the that referee just cost the New Orleans says to go to the Super Bowl and let in the Rams and we got the shitty uh, Super Bowl out of there, you know. Um, so in New Orleans, man, they could have gone to the Super Bowl and because one referee screwed it up and cost them, you know, to get to the to the Super Bowl. So man, man, but um, this was David Montgomery's first game. He had thirteen carries, um, sixty three yards rushing. Two receptions, uh, um, seventeen yards. And Herbert, um, he had four carries, thirteen yards, and three point three, and no touchdowns. Abrab, 
he had four receptions and um, 68, 68, and he had no touchdowns. But Darnell Mooney, he had three do three three um receivings and 41, 41 and one touchdown. Um, yeah, but Justin Fields, man, he was just uh, not targeting one person. He was like throwing it all over the field. He was like cold command, got some, you know, and you know he perfect to A Rob and that touchdown to Mooney. Oh my God, that was so to 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 uh, get the Bears, you know, to take the lead and then you know, and then the defensive they couldn't stop um the Steelers. They had because then you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers had a chance because there was a lot of time on the clock and you know Matt Nagy, he is awful man. He couldn't play it to the time clock, you know, and use his time down or something. And you know what? They let the guy, the Pittsburgh um, Steelers, march right down there and to the to score a field goal. And um, yeah, and. Carlos Santos, um, he was trying to um to to win the game or tie it or something like that. I don't know because I didn't, I missed half of the the ending of the game. But um yeah, he it looked like it was he was gonna make it, but the ball was didn't even make it even the field goal. It looked like it it was because I think it was sixty three yard. It was probably I think it was his longest kick he ever made. But um yeah, it didn't even had even got to the field goal. I mean, it didn't even cross the post. So yeah, man, the the Bears got robbed by these officials. But yeah, I uh, mean, um these penalties are that they're causing the Bears are hurting them, and they this is a poor coaching on Matt Nagy, and they got it on, on the case of these guys because. You know, these penalties and these flags are costing the Bears, you know, they're costing them again. So, man, but, you know, everybody thought that Van Nagy was going to be fired by the end of the game. And, but, yeah, you knew that that was not going to happen because the Bears don't fire some coach in it. And then, the se I mean, um, like in the middle of the season. So, um. I hope the guy they do fire him by the end of the year, cause we need somebody to has discipline in it and he shows emotion. I mean, Mad Nagy didn't even show one emotion in the press conference. He should have told him that it was a poor official agent and should have, you know, stuck to the you know, he defended his team and that stuff you know, and show it to his players that he they that he. Will stand up for them, you know. I mean, he doesn't care if he could, if he's gonna get a fine for opening his mouth, you know. Cause I imagine the Bears would pay to that. But seriously, he should have opened his mouth and said this was a poor officiating, and you know. But hey, we need somebody that shows emotion to on this team and shows disciplinary because this this coaching staff has no disciplinary. Nothing. They let these guys do whatever they want, you know. So, um, yeah. So, man, hopefully, you know, we, we this is, we're going to be on a bye next Sunday. So, there will be no games this Sunday. Um, when we go back, we're going to be playing against the Baltimore Ravens. And I think it's going to be a home game, I'm not sure. But it's going to be a tough game, so... I don't know, man. What's gonna happen if we lose the next game, man? This is oh, how hot can Matt Nagy's seat be hot? Because you know, um, the bear. I mean, we finally got a quarterback that we've been looking for. I mean, Justin Fields, man, he had the best game he had this whole season. You know, um, but man, if we had a coach that could coach Justin Fields. Man, the sky's the limit, you know, and and now with this, you know, like um, if they have a new coach, they could coach uh, Justin Fields, man, I mean, I can see that the Bears make it to the playoffs. But let me know what do you think. Leave me a comment below. Give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and always.
Bear down, Chicago Bears fans. This is your boy, King Pookie, and I'll see you in the next video.